everybody, it's Trap. All right, what we're gonna talk about right now is my two year review of my caravan trailer. It's a six by 12. And yes, I've got notes, I'm getting older and I'm not a big producer. So anyways, it's a caravan trailer. I bought it two years ago. It's been a really good trailer. The little bit of things behind this, the trailer weighs 967 pounds. It has a gross volume weight of 29.90. It can have a payload up to 2023. The nice thing about this one, it has an axle that is rated for 3750. So that's a plus. That's really good. It has a two inch ball. Pretty much in a nutshell, you can go and read off of Caravan's website. You can go to Home Depot or anybody else that sells these Caravan trailers. What I'm basically gonna go through is what I like and dislike about the trailer after two years. Um, in the beginning, I am going to tell you one thing. If I had a chance to purchase the trailer again, would I? Hell yeah, hands down, won't think twice. All right, the other thing is, um, these are just my opinions and my things that have happened after two years of owning it. So just bear in mind with what I've got to tell you, okay? So things I like, the overall build is great. The frame, the square frame that's built on this, uh, it's all tube, no uh, angle, which makes it excellent. It's uh, durable. It's one of the lightest trailers for a 6x12. It pulls really nice. It's just in general a really good trailer. The design, I love how I can take all four corners out. No problem. It takes just a few seconds. Well, a few minutes because you got to unbolt the bottom part of the hinge. But, you know, there's videos on that. The 2x6 decking on here, the 2x6 wood is good. Yeah, I like it. The problem is, as you'll see when I show you a picture down here, you're going to see how the wood actually warped. It's been like that since day one. Um, so that's the one kind of thing. The second thing is it's a rough cut, which means it's not like gone through a planer. And if it has, the planer must have been went out of whack because it's still a rough cut. I've had splinters break off on here. It's the one thing that really irritated me, but I do like the 2x6 setup. The step fenders, the step fenders that are right here, they're really great. One thing is, do not step on here. You will break this, especially in cold winter. This plastic gets real brittle, but you can step here and there. Um, mine on my left-hand side are bent down, came that way. I'm kind of slowly been working them back up using a jack just so that I can get them back straight, just so to make sure that the fender is not touching the tire, okay? Uh, the wiring lights, been great they're LED haven't had any problems the loom is perfect uh, the safety cables up front are great two inch hitch has been really good the tongue has been great I put my box my DZ box on there had no problems so far uh, putting it in was real simple I used rib nuts to hold it in um, never did a video didn't think anybody really gave a damn about the video so that's part of that um, the other thing is ease of parts you'll go through and look for E, uh, parts you're gonna go to Eastern Marine uh, and then what you're gonna do is use your VIN and go in there and it'll search and it'll give you all your listing of all the parts that go to your trailer the cool thing is it's also the print which is awesome because then it's gonna give you the spec of what to torque with what the actual length of everything is it's all in all really good so that has been a, one of the greatest things the ease of getting parts the cost of parts and the access of finding the actual parts on the print are really nice so that's a plus um, the bearings I love the easy lube bearings you can just and then just go ahead and squirt in squirt out the old crap clean it out go back in it there's videos on that not me but there's a couple of people that have done it in caravan I think has one out there now of things I don't like okay there is really no tie down spots on the trailer uh, you can probably through here try to do tie down straps through there I don't really recommend it because not knowing what the actual bolt is could cause an issue um, you could be reefing on it I mean this is only eighth inch steel it's not even quarter inch steel so your hook could be in there for a little bit but it could after time pull it and warp it so that's one thing you gotta be in consideration the other thing on tires that came on are called the eco trails they're ST tire they're trailer tires they're bias they're okay, um, but I barely got 2,000. I got 2,000, maybe 100 miles out of them. 
You'll see in the video down below what I ran into, and that's leading into the one other dislike about the trailer. So I went back and I installed radials. That's what I normally have on my trailers. Every time I always just burn up the tire that's on there and just switch it out to radial. Uh, the big thing that really peaked me off, the thing that sold me was it was powder coated, but the thing that really makes me mad is if you see the discoloration right here, I've had that on four parts of this trailer. I've had to go in and repaint it, sand it down, primer it, and just repaint it with regular paint. I don't know what, maybe it was the process when they were cleaning it, but within six months, this whole side started rusting. The front lip, the back lip, both started rusting. So that is one of the biggest things that irritates me about this. And the other thing is, is not to be able to adjust the axle. The one thing that's really weird is the, the whole body is perfect. Within a sixteenth of an inch, everything matches, except for the axle. The axle, you have the axle, or you have the spring, has a bolt going through it. The axle sits on top. Then you have the U clamps, U bolts that sit on top of there. Mine was seven feet on this side, six feet eleven and a half inches on that side from the front end, so it was off. I tried to adjust it, figured it out. The only thing I could do is push heavy forward on here when I was tightening down my bolts and pulled heavy that direction, just so I could somewhat even it out. And I got it now within an eighth of an inch. Um, that is kind of a pain in the butt, but it's all fixed. So there's really no way to really change it. There might be, if somebody knows, please put in the comments, tell me how to do it. I'd love to learn the replacement of the two by sixes. Later on down the road, I'm gonna have to replace these two by sixes. And when I do, like on a carry-on trailer, you're gonna have to slice the lip. This you do not. You just take the front cover off there. You take the little angle cover right there. Boom, you've got access. You come in get the screws out pull them out, switch them out. That is really nice. That saves time and you don't have to cut your trailer. You don't have to re-weld it or anything like that. So all in all, do I really recommend this trailer? Hell yeah. So if you find one and it's a decent price, I've watched in literally the past two years, I've watched this price of this trailer take off. When I bought my trailer, it was $2,100. Now it's $2,999 and it's probably gonna go higher. Just depends on who sells. All right, just trap, take care of each other.